David Wygant, 10 Minutes of Reality. It's going to be short today because what I have to say today may change your life for the ever. Like that for the ever, meaning forever. It may just change your life and make your life so much easier. First thing I want you to do is I want you to look at your to-do list. Look at your calendar. Look at your to-do list. I want you to look at it over the last 10 days. And I want you to look at all the spaces that are filled up. What you're being is a human doing. You've been taught that since you went to school. The minute we went to grade school, the minute we got into kindergarten, we started learning that we had to be doing all the time. We went to school from 8 to 3. Our parents picked us up or a school bus drove us home. Our mom would plan, or dad would plan after school activities, so we'd always be doing and doing and doing. Then we'd get to have a meal, and then we'd have to do again. We have to do our homework. You hear it all the time. Hey, did you do your homework? It was all about doing all the time. As we progressed and got older, we went on sports teams, and we did more. We were constantly doing and scheduling and having things from dance lessons to basketball practice to football. You know, this is all just both genders here, okay? We went to college. In college, we had to do things, join a club, do an activity, do, 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 do. We got out of school. We had to get a job. Once we had a job, we had to schedule everything. You got to do this and you got to do that. You became a human doing, which means by becoming a human doing, you actually became a programmed rat or a programmed rodent. Because all you knew how to do was do. Even when you go on vacation, you would sit there and feel antsy. It would take you four out of the seven days on vacation just to chill the fuck out. Because you were so used to doing. And you weren't used to being. Now we live in a modern culture where we're doing all the time. We can't even be any bit of the time. When we're in line at a restaurant to go order food. Or we're we're at line in anywhere. The bank, the DMV, you name it. We're constantly doing. We're not being. We're not hanging out. We're doing We're looking at our phones. We're texting people. Even at a stoplight. We don't even know how to be at a stoplight. How many times do you need to push the wake the fuck up device, I call it, the horn? How many times do you need to blare down on that horn to wake somebody up because they are not being? They're doing. They're doing texting. They're doing Instagram. They're doing Facebook. They're doing We have become a society of human doers, but the thing is, we are a human being. And being a human being means that you get to be who you are. Be who you want to be, but how can you be something when you're constantly doing something? How can you stop for a minute and actually say to yourself, I want to be this, but I don't know how to be this because I am always doing something. I'm always scheduled. I've been programmed since kindergarten. I don't even know how to change because I'm always doing, doing, doing. Until you no longer do. And when that happens, you're usually dead. Become a human being. Take a moment to look around. Look at the nature that's around you. Look at the trees. Look at the clouds. When you're at a stoplight, look at the houses, look at the people in cars. When you're out at grocery stores or out at places, instead of looking and doing, be. Be in the moment. Be at that store. Be in that line. Be at that restaurant. Don't do. By having to always do something, you're missing the things that will actually change the cycle of doing that you're on. The gifts in life come when you are being. Not when you are doing. When you're just being and allowing, all the magic comes into your life. And everything manifests and changes. So right now I just want you to be. I don't want you to do 
And as a matter of fact, this is going to be my shortest podcast ever. Because I just want you to be a human being, not a human doing. Spread this and post this. It's short enough for all the doers out there to get their attention. Rate me on iTunes. Rank me wherever you may. And be whoever you want to be. But you'll have to stop doing whoever you once were.